Enter and edit data on Excel 2016. Let's say you have a business and you want to keep track of monthly expenses. Using Excel 2016, we'll show you how to do it. To begin, we have a blank workbook. And the first thing we want to do is to give our project a title, whatever is appropriate. Now, if you don't have sufficient space, all you need to do is place your pointer between the column and double click. You can also drag it to create sufficient space. When there are lots of words in a cell and they don't fit, all you have to do is to click on the first cell, then go up and click on wrap text. When you do that, all the words fit in the cell area. You can also edit using Excel 2016. If you go up to the font section, you can make your print bold or italicized or even underscored. You can also adjust the font or the font size. And you can add color. That's a very nice bold title. Now we want to add a chart for what we're tracking. And we're going to start with our headers, you know, putting in our months. Then we want to make it look like a chart by adding grid lines. First we select it and then go up to all borders and select that and it looks like a chart now. Then we want to align the text starting with the headers and we go up to the alignment center area and click on center. Then we want to begin putting in some colors, selecting the theme colors. You of course can choose whatever colors suit you. Now we want to begin to put in our expenses. Notice that when you finish writing in and click, it moves over to the right. And if we go up to the number section, after we've selected the area, we can decide on the currency we want to use. Hit the down arrow and you see several options. Let's choose United States English. Now our table really looks like a table and you know how to create one for your own business. In our next video, we will continue by showing you how to do calculations such as addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division, plus formulas using Excel 2016.